Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HTBX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support and then we can talk areas of resistance. The first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up here above the dollar fifty mark. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below dollar fifty, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that area, that would certainly make the chart look the strongest going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play. The famous fifty period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes on, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So, a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move. That right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yes, yeah, staying up above that uh, $1.50 mark would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are hanging out, nothing complicated here other than the fact that the party finally stopped today during that first 30 minutes up at the $1.62 mark. So $1.62 will be public enemy number one going into Wednesday. Good news is, assuming there's no gap downs or anything, it's not like the price has to travel a great distance before it can start doing battle with that area again. So definitely uh, you know, some great potential of potentially breaking up above that area of resistance on Wednesday. But all in all, as long as the price begins to chip away and build higher bases, that's what you wanna see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.